Now is the time of the Passover moon, the first full moon after the vernal equinox. Life and growth and springtime, after the mystery of winter silence and death, are rising up from underground again, like daffodils beneath the snow. Lift up your hearts. This Lent has been a journey we never anticipated, never planned we'd be on together. And together, we have come to this sacred Good Friday. Wherever you are, breathe in, breathe out. Be here now. Let our hearts soften and break into the one universal heart centered in God's infinite love and mercy. Today we join our journey with that of Jesus, whose life and death and resurrection offer redemption and wholeness and undying love. Let us see the face of Christ in those who suffer and those who serve. First Dacian, Jesus is condemned to death. Am I a bandit that you have come here with swords and clubs? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you never laid hands on me. But this is your hour. This is the reign of darkness. It's too much, Lord, too much. Too bloody, bruising, brainwashing much. Or is it too little? Too little of compassion, too little of courage and daring, of a persistence of sacrifice, too little of music and laughter and celebration? Oh God, make of me some nourishment for these starved times, some food for my brothers and sisters who are hungry for gladness and hope, that being bread for them, I may also be fed and be full. Ted Loader. Can you drink of the cup which I am about to drink? Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. If anyone wants to walk my way, they must put their own wishes aside, pick up their cross daily, and come after me. A viral pandemic has shaken and disoriented us. Our hearts are laid bare. What cross do you carry today? What do you pray in this time? What do you hold sacred? Who is God calling us to be? What is God calling us to become? So much suffering is caused by the delusion that we are separate from God, from one another, from the earth. In reality, we are genetically similar to every other human being. We share 60% of our DNA with a banana. All of us descend from a single group of beings who emigrated from Africa 2,000 generations ago. Can we wake from our delusion and realize now how intimately connected we truly are? Aboriginal leader Lilla Watson wrote, If you have come to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound up with mine, let us work together. There should be no division in the body, but each part have equal concern for the other. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. Not a sparrow falls without his knowing. Every hair on your head has been counted. There is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. In this cruel, precarious time, what matters? It matters that we are beloved. 
It matters that we are not our fears. It matters that there is no other. There is only us. Dear God of life, open our eyes, open our hearts, roll away the stones that block our journey, and then send us forth. Even the sparrow finds a home in your presence, O God. The wren nests safely in your care. Look upon me with love, for I, your wounded bird, can neither fly nor sing your praise. Enfold me with your mercy. Hold me in your care. Restore in me the assurance of your love. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Who is my mother and my sister and my brother? One who hears the word of God and keeps it. Prophets are in our midst. They speak for our earth. Do we hear them? In 2019, 28 indigenous defenders of environmental and human rights were murdered in Latin America. In our own country, we disregard and belittle those who would save our common home. Maybe this time of isolation will give us reverence for the natural world outside our doors and will strengthen our love for it. Cristina Bautista, a young Brazilian indigenous woman said, if we stay quiet, they kill us. If we speak, they kill us too. So we speak. From the prophet Joel. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young will see visions. Your elders will dream dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit upon my servants, and they will prophesy. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. Bear one another's burdens, and you will be fulfilling the law of Christ. Henry Nouwen writes, I wonder more and more if the first thing shouldn't be to know people by name, to eat and drink with them, to listen to their stories and tell them your own. This is the life of the parish of St. Joan of Arc. Our story is one of welcome, and we grieve the loss of contact. But the story remains the same. We reach out to people in new ways to encounter one another, to build relationships of justice and equity. We stand in solidarity with our family in South Africa, with our sister parish in Guatemala, with peacemakers in the Middle East, with our friends at Shir Tikva Synagogue and the Islamic Coalition of Isaiah, with the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and the Church of Blessed Kateri with Annunciation House at our country's southern border and with Risen Christ School in South Minneapolis. I rely upon your love, O God. My heart rejoices in your saving help. I will sing to the God of life who has been good to me. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Wherever the good news shall be preached in the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. In memory of her. The woman who wipes the face of Jesus in the hospitals, in the schools, in the halls of Congress, on the Lake Street Bridge, in our church, 
the CSJs, the Viz Sisters, the Franciscans and the Benedictines, and the School Sisters of Notre Dame. This year, the Archdiocese hosted numerous gatherings to prepare for the Synod that will focus on the future of our local church. At each gathering, women stood and spoke, declaring our love for the church and for our faith, and calling our leaders and all the faithful to true justice and full participation for all of Christ's disciples. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. Seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. Always we carry within our bodies the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may be visible in our bodies. You make the harrowing trip across the desert, on foot, on the tops of trains. You come for a new life. We cage your children and turn you away. We take your labor and call you illegal. You live a half-life among us, and we do not receive you with welcome. We repent the rhetoric, the cages, the wall. We mourn for the trauma and pain we have inflicted. We repent our cruelty and blindness. Watch, O Lord, with all those awake this night. Watch, O Lord, with all those who weep. Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. Women of Jerusalem, do not cry for me. Cry for yourselves and for your children. Cry for the children who are home from school without food, and then strengthen protections for the poor and fight for a living wage. Cry for the children who are without a home, and then stand up for affordable housing. Cry for the children who are excluded, and then speak out when Chinese Americans are targeted by hate because they are blamed for this virus by irresponsible leaders. In the summer of 2019, the town newspaper of Pelican Rapids, Minnesota, a town of 2,500, took down a racist comment made when the paper featured students from the high school's commencement ceremony, some of whom were wearing hijabs. The coverage was called anti-American. Pelican Rapids is home to a Genio turkey plant that for decades has employed migrants from Mexico, Southeast Asia, and Bosnia. Joan Ellison, a founding member of the Pelican Rapids Multicultural Committee said, what more could a community ask for than people who love being where they are and work to make it a better place? Their hearts cried out to God, let your tears run down like a river day and night. Let your eyes have no rest. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. He then withdrew from them about a stone's throw away and knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this bitter cup from me. But let us do what you want, not what I want. 
And then he prayed more earnestly until his sweat became like drops of blood upon the ground. My heart, O oh God, from all that leads to death, to seek the way of life. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Theologian Walter Brueggemann writes, Empires live by numbness. The one thing the dominant culture cannot tolerate is compassion, the ability to stand in solidarity with the victims of the present order. In our culture, brokenness is a failure. Suffering is shameful and done alone. On April 4th, 2019, Kelly Catlin died by suicide. She was a silver medal winning US Olympic cyclist an accomplished violinist, and a Stanford graduate student in computational and mathematical engineering. She wrote, Most of the time I don't make everything work. It's like juggling with knives, but I really am dropping a lot of them. It's just that most of them hit the floor and not me. Imagine how she is missed. Can you remember who I am? Can you still feel it? Can you find my pain? Can you heal it? Lay your hands upon me now. Cast this darkness from my soul. You alone can light my way. You alone and me more once again. There's no need to turn back. All roads lead to where we stand. And I believe we walk them all. No matter what we may have planned. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't realize what they are doing. O oh God, I lift to you the rock-hard pain I feel for this world. Dissolve my pain into love. God, call me back to my heart. God, dissolve my heart into the heart of the universe. Give me strength, give me wisdom, and give me love. Give me the courage to live wholly into the heart of this hurting world, which is you, Phoebe Phelps. Father, forgive us. We don't realize what we are doing. Mother, forgive us. We do realize what we're doing. I thirst. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross, and Jesus said, it is finished. Greater love than this, no one has, 
I so loved the world. My death takes place both in time and outside time. So does my rising on the third day. These mysteries are always together. In my mind's eye, I I saw back to the beginning. Saw forward to all time's future. Pierced like laser, the ever-moving point of the present moment. Saw those on fire with revenge, with hatred and racism. Saw those consumed by greed, by arrogance. Saw those who feed the seeds of ignorance and despair. Saw those who cry out in grief. Saw those who burn with love. Saw those who lay down their lives for righteousness. And said to the slain on all sides, This day you will be with me in paradise. All this joy. All this sorrow. All this promise. All this pain. Such is life. Such is being. Such is spirit. Such is love. Thirteenth Station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. This is my body that is for you. Gerald Callahan writes, We are everything. We are pieces of others. We are the dirt we've eaten and the songs we've sung. We are the light of stars and darkness old beyond imagining. We are at once spontaneous fires and sacred water. We are faith and forgiveness. On Good Friday alone of the whole church year, the Eucharist is not celebrated, but remembered. We remember the countless times we have come forward through the millennia in the communion of saints. We are all welcome. We are all fed at the great banquet, knit into the fabric of the mystical body of Christ. At these moments, we glimpse the kingdom of God. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. The light shone brightly into the darkness, and the darkness could not put out the light. The darkness could not put out the light. Jesus says, And death shall have no dominion. And death shall have no dominion. For death is swallowed up in victory. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? For death is swallowed up in victory. For behold, I make all things new. I live today and always. You are my body. Dying, and behold, you live. All life is precious. All life is holy. All those fallen in Syria, in Yemen. In hospitals and on the streets. In refugee camps and homeless camps and at our southern border. All these lives rise as sweet-smelling incense before the throne of holy compassion. Let us celebrate the death of death. For behold, I make all things new. I live today and always. You are my body. Dying, and behold, you live. I have blessed you with existence. Love, mind, poetry, music, community, family. Open hearts. Bless others. Be my eyes and ears and loving arms. Do miracles. Do miracles. Do miracles. All is one. All is well. All is calm. All is quiet.